Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna look at these replays and I'm gonna show you guys um, So kind of what's going on. So when I was doing um, the uh, what you call it uh, Scouting I saw someone already hit the base and I saw that this player had a lot of traps uh, Like he had traps right here. He had traps right here and he had traps down into here But I saw a bunch of you know a bunch of uh, traps like this in this area, right? So when I'm using this tactic, the one thing that I've been uh, being able to practice with is just how big the range is. It's slightly bigger than heal. Later on in the video, I'll show you guys how big the radius is compared to heal, but it's it's slightly bigger. So in order to get all these traps, the one thing I've noticed is that you can drop the trap, and if like it barely touches the hitbox of another trap, it still gets counted, right? So I was thinking if I if I start like I was thinking of dropping the trap somewhere in this area. As where I would put my finger because then I can at least get up to like around this, you know, roughly this circle. Oh god, this is awful. Okay, just pretend that's a circle that, you know, looks good and counts or whatever. But I was thinking it would be like that area, right? Now, I did want to try to um, push the, push it a little bit up here because then I could get this barbed wire. But getting this barbed wire, you know, isn't gonna, like, I don't want to, I didn't want to, like, you know, try to get this barbed wire and then lose out on the Sam down here or another trap over here or something. So, as we watch this clip, you'll see that we start with our with our average, you know, tank to, or you know, heavy drop, which is fine. I use a uh, brother in arms troop card so I can make sure that they stay there. All right. By the way, this this entire war I'm 3D. So just so you know, I'm 3D and this is me hitting this base right here, right? Okay, right here is we're about to drop it, so just get ready and watch. So yeah, I was, you know, a little bit, you know, I could have maybe gone up a little bit, like I said, and gone in here and try to get this, this barbed wire right here, which ended up, you know, hurting me a little bit, but not too much. It was, it was the hit was still fine, you know, so I hit, and then I want to show you guys the things I got. So I got a Sam, two Sams, three Sams, we got a fourth Sam, this Sam battery right here, right? The range was like the edge, but because it's like the sandbox is like, or this, um, whatchamacallit, was somewhat in the range there, like the hitbox or whatever, it still counted. But look at all these traps that I just disabled. Like I got one barbed wire, another barbed wire, there is a third barbed wire, right? Let's get some color coordination in here. We got one, two, three, four Sams. Look at, look at this, look how beautiful this is, right? We got a, a landmine, an ambush trap, a decoy trap. Um, I don't know what this is right here. I'm gonna assume that's like a, another barbed wire or something. We got, you know, an ambush trap, a landmine, you know, so all in all, I'd consider this a great uh, use of the tactic because I was able to just get in there and just really use, um, you know, the tactic to its best uh, position. And look at this. So as we go through, you'll notice that we just melt this base. There is a barbed wire right there. I do, you know, it happens, you know, it happens. Do a salt rally. Still sitting on barbed wire up there. Drop my, drop my sabotage right here because the last thing I want is this guy to spawn. Oh God, get a different color, sorry guys. This guy to spawn. And then as well, you know, I, I actually probably should have even saboted these three because this, the, these three have been the most relevant. With this mortar right here being able to fire at like this range but the thing is you know i just wanted to make sure that this um that the you know these three just i don't know made sense in my mind slight mistake but we'll keep going through the point is look how much easier it is like easier it is for me to walk through the middle of this base right here this this attack i went to transports and i had them cleaning up on the uh i had them cleaning up on the edges here as you can tell because i figured that you know, after scouting this base and using uh, space shuttle really effectively right here, then I'm gonna need a lot of cleanup on this on this like bottom side right here. And if I drop like you know, I can drop two transports here, you know, and two transports here in the time that it takes my main army to catch up to this point. And then obviously, you know, the reason I split the generals was to clean up the corners up here, and then just send the main army. Let me grab a color to come in and just scoop out the middle section right here, so that way we can control kind of the whole thing. And so, yeah, it worked out pretty well. So look at that. That's a nice assault rally right there. Get everyone in the middle. Drop, yep, two more transports on the bottom side. 
Mind you, I'm 3D. This guy's, you know, 3-0 this war. So it's not like I'm going up, you know, doing any uphill climbing. My museum is like... It's like 20% bazooka damage. That's it. Um, so I'm kind of working with it. But, yeah. Over and all, a pretty good hit. Felt very, very pleased with the, the results. And I did it in, I think, a minute. In like 50 seconds or 54, something like that. So there you go. That's the first hit, right? Okay, so here's the base layout. Okay, here's the base layout. This is the second attack. Welcome back. And what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to prioritize this area right here with my bazookas. So I was going to drop my main army right here. Um, drop a one general, I think, or two generals here. And then drop another one in the corner. And then with double paratroopers, I can go here and here. And kind of like clean up the whole base uh, little by little, right? So the one thing that's really good is I know I figured he was gonna have traps oh, here, 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 and then obviously in this corner right here, right? So I'm thinking, where the heck am I gonna drop the space sh shuttle tactic? And I'm like, I think right here in the corner of this castle because I can get, I can get like this. Oh, tell me this is a good lay. Oh, this might be a sh crabby circle. That might be the worst circle ever. That might not even be an accurate circle, but I figured if anything, I could get this much on it, right? I can at least get, you know, traps here, 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 and here, just by pinpointing it right here at the edge, right? And so as this war attack goes through, you'll see that I go ahead and do my normal drop. Get all Hannibal, lead in charge. Oh yeah, I took some, uh, I took two, uh, four troop cards. They're all like really low level ones. I took like a Cataphracts, and I took uh, like a Napoleonite army or something, and the Napoleon army, which is like a level three army, just to help with the silo distraction, just to make sure. I took some peacekeepers. So this is a okay. Well, let me actually play this. Let me let this play out. This is the uh, this is what happens when you get the wrong guess. I actually should have paused it right there. So right here, you see how like, uh, actually that circle was pretty sync and accurate. I should have left that circle up. It was actually pretty accurate. But the point is, I thought there were gonna be traps here. 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 Guess what, incorrect. But guess what? These traps right here, like, let me let, me let the video play out. Okay, one barbed wire, another barbed wire, another barbed wire, two ambush traps, one landmine. Watch this hit and like, even though I guessed wrong and it was a safe bet to like place it right here because I honestly thought that they were going to be up here like, you know, like I was saying before. And that's a safe bet. I still got these traps. There's three, uh, three uh, barbed wire right there. And this right here, this army is going to want to go here and they're going to want to split this way. So the fact that eventually they'll lead to this wall here, which I'll probably, I think I rallied to or, or uh, rallied to or assault rallied to so I can get instant access into the general section. Um... Notice how I'm not going through a lot of trouble of, you know, stuff. Like, it's just pretty straightforward. Um, so that's like, even though I guess wrong on that one, you know, kind of showing you what happens if you guess wrong, you can still be safe with it and uh, put it in a good place to make real good use of it. So, okay, so we rallied up a little higher. But look, 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 right here, right here. All the generals come out. Heavy tank comes out. Gatling gunners are going to come out, right? Okay? And I'm right here with the assault rally. If I was stuck on barbed wire, it's over. Like, I'm just saying right now, it's over. But because I, I was able to uh, use the tactic really well here to get all these uh, traps done, it's it's just gorgeous thing ever. So we'll just go ahead and watch the attack. Keep watching it, keep watching it. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a little slow. I am, uh, like I said, 20% bazooka damage. I don't have any coal, offense and coals on. So it's a little slow right now. Um, take two planes to take this heavy tank out. Zap, zap. We lose a few troops down here, which is eh, it happens. Like I said, not, I'm not I'm not claiming to be the best attacker here. I'm just saying, you know, this is the way I I, uh, I would use that. Um, go right there. So one thing I point out, I know this is not really about the uh, the tactic itself, but let me just go back a little bit. So I do a rally here. Get a brighter color, please. Okay, I do a rally on the town center. And then the reason I assault rallied was because look, I can now I have like the assault rally like radius is like up to here I think. Let's see how right I am. Ah! 
Ah, look at me. I'm a god. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. Um, <laughs> that was a really good uh, prediction. But, yeah, I got that so that I could assault rally all of them together on the town center. And it counts as a speed rally. So now they're going to go and they're going to go, like, this direction. They're going to go this direction. They want to go this direction. I got paratroopers, you know, cleaning up. Well, that's a – okay, that last one was a machine gun. But I got paratroopers here. You know, I got I should be protecting my gens a little bit better. But, you know. It, it is what it is. Like I said, not the best attacker. Wasn't really aware. I was actually so surprised that the like first part worked out. I was just like, wait, this is this tactic's broken. <laughs> like this is busted. Um, so what I'm gonna be uh, telling? Okay, then this is also another mistake. I should have dropping paratroopers into this gap is so stupid. I should have dropped the paratroopers right here, and they would have had a chance of coming here, or maybe dropping one here, and I could kill the killing this um any tank gun is huge messed up there I maybe I could have even dropped the paratroopers over here to kill this guy you know maybe I could have dropped them over here eh. you know there's other places that would have been better I don't know why I dropped them where I did like you know it just was a really dumb thing nitpicky I know I know I'm kind of getting away from the point the point is this tactic is amazing it's wonderful it's really really good and I I think it's gonna make uh, the future of war bases uh, be very different and I think that players are gonna be doing mind games with each other right I think watching replays is gonna be more important than ever so you can see where the traps are and um, I can't wait to see what kind of bases we have I'm, I'm, I think it's gonna be like bases where it's gonna take your um it's gonna take your entire uh, it's gonna take your entire uh, like map to like build the base and I think that's what we're gonna be getting so anyways I wanted to show you guys that um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you did, like and subscribe, um, and yeah.